Mr. Cameron says it's only by attending this summit and meeting the Sri Lankan president that he can raise difficult human rights issues. He will make one new departure. He'll be the first foreign leader to visit the Tamil north of the island, the place where the long war was fought since independence in 1948. The government's war against the Tamil Tigers, a ruthless separatist group, lasted three decades and caused over 100,000 deaths. After an all-out army offensive, they were crushed four years ago. Both sides were accused of atrocities, but with most Tiger leaders dead, it's the government that gets the brunt of accusations. Mr Cameron has just been in India, and speaking to journalists there, he repeated his message of toughness for the Sri Lankans. There needs to be proper inquiries into what happened at the end of the war. There's always a case for not going somewhere, but I think actually we'll get further by going and having conversations with the Sri Lankans about what needs to happen and shining a light on some of the issues and the problems uh, that are there. Sri Lanka's government is on the defensive. Speaking this morning, President Rajapaksa said they had been suffering for 30 years, not just at the end of the war. If anyone who wants to complain about a human rights violation in Sri Lanka, whether it is torture, whether it is rape, whether it is... We have a system. You must, we must, you all must respect the system of a country. Meanwhile, the Prince of Wales, representing the Queen as head of the Commonwealth, flew in with the Duchess of Cornwall. They will attend a reception for his 65th birthday before he opens the summit tomorrow. Charles Haviland, BBC News, Colombo.